News. Erin Taylor was at the shipyard for the president's tour and remarks, where she was able to talk to the workers who were excited to share the stage with President Trump. President Trump made his remarks here in the Fincantary Marinette Marine Shipyard in front of a crowd of the company's employees who sat here all around me and stood on the bow of that ship behind me. Now, in those remarks, President Trump touted the $5.5 billion contract awarded to Marinette Marine. We'll put the shipyard to work constructing some of the fastest, most advanced, and most maneuverable combat ships anywhere in the ocean. But the U.S. Navy contract means more to Marinette than the 10 frigates the shipyard will construct, including the thousands of jobs it's expected to create. And it means uh, a lot of these younger uh, men and women moving to the area with families uh, are going to be able to get jobs. Tyler was one of two employees of Marinette Marine asked to share the stage with President Trump. My hands were shaking a little bit, but it was good to look out in the crowd and see all my coworkers and friends here. So it, it kind of helped ease it a little bit for me. Gary Eid also had the chance to step up to the podium. It was it was amazing. It really was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Absolutely, I will remember forever. Even more meaningful, he says, is what the contract will do for Marinette. It's long term growth and sustainment, uh, which is is something that historically is, is hard to find in the shipbuilding industry. You know, it's usually a feast or famine uh, industry. So this is very important for our local community uh, and for the company. Also important to the community, the attention of the president. First time a sitting president has ever been to our, our small town, so that, that was amazing. If you don't go north of Green Bay, you don't really know too much about Marinette, so it's, it's pretty exciting for the area to have uh, the President of the United States to come here and visit. In Marinette, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. And when the President arrived in Green Bay, he was met at the airport by a mix of groups, including protesters, looking to voice their opinions. But there were supporters as well. Local 5's Eric Richards brings us reaction from both sides. On Thursday, just around 100 protesters gathered outside of the Jet Air Hangar at Austin Schraubel Airport in Ashwaubenon. A number of organizations joined together to greet President Trump as he arrived for a town hall meeting. Members of Black Lives Matter and Crusaders for Justia were in attendance and wanted to be heard. If we can show unity, then that, that would pretty much override whatever he's doing right now because we have more numbers than he has. Those who support President Trump were also in attendance. This man flew in from Hawaii to show his support and offer a message to protesters. My heart's with him, 100%. You know, I don't agree with everything. We don't have to agree on everything. The underlying issue, though, is, is connecting us all, and I believe we're all connected. Together we stand, divided we fall, together we stand, no matter what, we're going on this journey together. The crowd of protesters has grown quite a bit since they first gathered here earlier on this afternoon. As President Trump is in that hangar there, they want their voices to be heard here. For Jennifer Estrada, it was important to bring her son to demonstrate. We're out here to show um, not only Trump, but the community that we no longer want to stand for all the hate. Um, that we won't accept any hate in this dairy state. There was a slight disagreement among opposing sides of the issues and support after the town hall had concluded. Everything, for the most part, remained peaceful. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! I'm Native American! I and no arrests were made. In Ashwaubenon, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. All right, we thank you, Eric. Americans could be receiving a second round of cash payments. President Trump signaled that he supports the idea. Senators say they are.